this video I'm going to be talking about how to derive the 1D continuity equation from the uh, general continuity equation. Uh, in a previous video, I went through the derivation of the continuity equation, uh, and I'll be starting from the fixed control volume approach, uh, and I'll post that link in the description. So this is the continuity equation uh, in integral form. So the first term here is a time derivative term, so the time rate of change of the mass inside the control volume. And then the second uh, integral term is the is the uh, mass flow out of the control out of the control volume through the surface uh, S. And uh, when you add these two together, it equals zero. So we're going to be dealing with uh, steady flow. So this is the steady flow kind of the equation for one d flow. So the d dt whoa, can go to zero. not super stable. Okay, and so what we're left with is this, is the mass flow through the control surface. So we need some way to integrate that. So I'm going to define a control volume here. So and we're going to start from a state one, and we're going to go to a state two. So one is on the left side of this kind of invisible wall, and state two is on the right side, and I've drawn a control volume around it, uh, separating out these two states. So uh, we have flow, or we have the density in this term, we have the velocity in this term, uh, and we have this ds, so the, uh, the differential uh, surface uh, area. So on the left side of the control volume, we have flow going in, and on the right side we have flow going out. So on the left side, u1 is the velocity going into the control volume, rho1 is the density, and then this side, this control volume area is a1. And then on the other side, we have flow going out, so we have u2, velocity going out, and then we have rho2, which is density going out, and the area of this is a2. And I mentioned in the other video that the uh, ds surface area control volume is always pointing out. It's defined out of the control uh, surface. So that's why this is pointed out this way, and this one's pointed to the left this way. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to integrate over the control surface. So on the, we'll start with the left side here. I've drawn it in black here, and it corresponds to the black in the equation here. So uh, if we integrate, we say we want the, uh, over this air, over this side, we want the density, so that's row one here, and then we want v dot ds, which is the velocity dotted with the surface, with the differential surface area. So we want u1 dotted with ds, and the reason that there's a negative here is because u1 and ds are in opposite directions. So you get u1 times a1, because that's the area. And then the ds, when you die with the ds, it's, uh, it gives you the negative sign. And then on the other side, you have the density, rho2, times u2a2. And that's come, and the reason that that's a plus sign is because that the ds and the u2 are in the same direction. So uh, you might ask what's happening to the top and the bottom surface of this, of this control volume, because they're still there. Uh, and that's What's happening is this board doesn't fall down when I draw this. Um, is that the ds is pointed down that way because it's out of the control volume, and this ds is pointed up. And if you look at the velocity vectors, they're going to the right. And if you and if you take the dot product of these two of u dot ds and this u dot ds, it'll give you zero because they're perpendicular to each other. Okay, so now that we have this equation here, we can just rearrange, bring this over to the right-hand side or the other way around, and you get row one u one a one is equal to row two u two a two. And for one d flow that we're looking at, uh, the area on the left side is equal to the area on the right side, so a one is equal to a two, so that those cancel out. And the final form that you get for the one d steady flow continuity equation is row one u one is equal to row two u two. I'll be using this in the derivation for the. Uh, speed of sound. So thanks for watching.